For one second, that's not true. No. There are guys out there who look at you like, I wish. I'm going to tell you who knows that better than anyone else. Yeah. Just like all of these. Since about 10 years ago, women have been throwing themselves at me. Like, none of that belongs to me. Like, I have zero. Even though it sounds strange, like, male attention. So then I start to think about it myself, and I'm like, is there something wrong with me? Like, you're not looking. You're not liking. I had to deal with that for years when I was young, just like you. I don't want it because. But it would be nice to know how someone looks, like. Steph Curry's wife, Aisha Curry, is mad at Jada Pinkett Smith and her show The Red Table Talk for, quote, making her sound crazy. Curry, Aisha. Stephen Curry's wife has accused Jada Pinkett Smith of having something to do with the problems in her family. She says that her words were taken out of context to make her seem crazy and that the red table talk caused her to need a lot of therapy. Third party is a woe, there's no one here. It's us. Who are you, anyway? So, in 2019, Jada, Jamie, and Willow went to the private home of NBA royalty in North Carolina to meet the queens of the Curry family. They met Steph Curry's wife, Aisha Curry, his mother, Sonia Curry, his little sister, and his future sister-in-law. The talk show was going to be honest about everything, from nervousness to female fans who were too friendly. People were excited to see real NBA wives and family members on the show being themselves. During the talk, Pinkett Smith asked Aisha Curry how she felt about the other women who were interested in her husband, who is the most famous player on the Golden State Warriors. She said that her husband is a nice person by nature, but because of that, women are always throwing themselves at him and waiting in the shadows, hoping for their chance. She said, everything is always very friendly, and sometimes I'm a grown woman, so I'll just jump in and say, hi, how are you? Aisha said that she really hated it which makes a lot of sense since no one likes to see other people throwing themselves on their partners. Curry also said that she sometimes wondered if something was wrong with her because men didn't pay much attention to her. During the conversation, she said, I don't have any. This seems strange, but it's like male attention. So I start to think about it and think, is there something wrong with me? I don't want anyone to notice me. But it would be nice to know that someone is looking. She started by saying that it really bothers me and honestly makes me feel a little bit insecure that all these women have been throwing themselves at my husband for the past 10 years, but not at me. I'm sorry, but I don't have any of that. People didn't like how Aisha Curry said it would be nice to get attention from a guy other than her husband. This seems to be why there was a backlash online. People even blamed Jada for getting Aisha to look for male approval after she was already married since Jada had said that she understood Aisha because she had been in the same situation with her own husband. Considering that Jada had an affair with her son's friend even though her husband knew about it, I would say that she was not a good influence on Aisha. While Jada is used to getting criticism for her show and doesn't really care what people say, when Aisha started getting criticism from people who didn't understand why she would want attention from other guys besides her husband, she went on social media to explain herself. Curry defended herself on Instagram by saying that she has never been one to hold back her thoughts and emotions. I am human. She told her fans in a long, heartfelt post and caption on Instagram on May 8, 2019. She wrote, I've never been one to hold back my feelings and emotions. I am human. She went on to say that it makes her happy to say what she thinks, to sometimes be open, and to know herself inside and out. Since it's Mental Health Awareness Month, I really want to take the time to encourage everyone to speak their truth, no matter what others think, how it fits into a mold, or if it offends someone. It's your truth, and you should say it. And that's all right, she said. Now, in the post, she said that she had told the truth, but in a recent interview, she said that her words were taken out of context, which means that everything she said in the post was a lie. Jada was posting but she said that what she was saying was true. In her Instagram post, she said, 
if what I'm not afraid to say out loud about being a 30-year-old mom of three helps another woman feel like she's not alone and not the only one with an insecurity, because we all have them, then I've done my job. Don't play. Then all of this fuss has been worth it. If you have a chance to watch the real Red Table talk and not just the headlines and rumors, please do. She gave her listeners hope. Even though she didn't like how her words were changed. In the post, she thanked Jada by saying, There is so much more to the talk, and our family is grateful to Jada Pinkett Smith for giving us the chance to bond. Aisha said that as women, we should all keep pulling each other up and giving each other power, and not try to hide or squash our feelings and thoughts, no matter how fleeting they may be. From her post, it's clear that she not only agreed that everything she said was true, but that she also backed Jada and thanked her for letting her talk about who she really was. Media Made by the People Stephen Curry chose to stand up for his wife and defend the mother of his children, saying he was proud of her for telling the truth. The Golden State Warriors star posted a picture of himself and his wife on Instagram with the caption Proud of you for being real and putting yourself out there, not being afraid of the bullshit and nonsense that might come your way. All of this could and did make you feel more good than bad about that. Keep being you. I love you. Now, remember that at the time, Aisha Curry didn't mention any worries about red table talks by editing her comments in a negative way. She even went a step further and told her fans to watch the show instead of just reading the headlines and rumors. Well, Aisha says that the show was changed to fit Jada's story about weddings that don't follow the rules. In a new interview, Aisha Curry talked about the dangers of being famous. She talked about how bad it was for her in 2019 when she went on Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk show on Facebook and talked about how she felt insecure seeing her superstar husband, Steph Curry, get so much attention from women. Insider Magazine's May 2023 digital cover star was Aisha Curry. In the interview, she talked about her 2019 Red Table Talk words about her marriage to NBA star Stephen Curry, which went viral. Aisha told the newspaper that she didn't like how her part in the episode was cut. She told writer Mona Meyer that the way the show was cut made her sound like she was crazy. Not what I said, and it came out of nowhere. The mother of three, who has written a cookbook and is a lifestyle business, told Insider. I did take that one to heart. On Red Table Talk, Will Smith's wife and her family no longer bring together famous people and their families. Since the show was cancelled last month, because Facebook Watch chose to stop making its own shows. And we might never know whether or not what Aisha said was true. The original season order for the show is over, and the company that makes it, Westbrook Studios, is looking for a new home. Variety said that Meta was getting rid of its original Facebook Watch shows, and that Red Table Talk was the last one to go. Soon after, Red Table Talk posted a message on Instagram about how thankful they were that Facebook Watch was coming to an end. Anyway, let's not forget that this video is based on theories and my views, not facts. All done. Bye.